Hey guys! Uh, so I'm back with a new video and it's gonna be a really quick unboxing video. I got some really cool aquarium stuff that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. And I'm sorry about the really awkward lighting, but yeah, that's the best I could do right now. So <laughs> yeah, uh, stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing that I got is the Aquatech 3060 filter and I'm so, so excited about this. Ugh, like I've been needing a upgrade for a while and I'm actually going to be doing a unboxing slash review on this. So if you guys want to see that, um, I'll probably leave a link in the end of this video. And this is going to go right there in the... Uh, I don't know if you guys recognize this, but this is actually the snail tank. It's under construction right now. It's gotten like major, major upgrades. I did make it like in wall, like faux in wall. <laughs> that section up there actually opens and closes so that I have access to the fish and snail since I don't have access from the back and the reason why I need a hang on back filter is because there's such tight space behind the tank that there's just no way I would fit any sort of canister filter or whatever but hang on back filters are actually really great for smaller tanks like that and they were great perfect so <laughs> yeah next item so the next thing I got is like four packs of these filter cartridges and I put the other two away because I don't need them anytime soon. And I actually don't use these. I throw my own biological filtration in there. You know, I figured I would use these for now. Okay, so the next thing that I got is a pack of test strips. It's the 5-in-1 test strips. Um, it does testing for pH, nitrate, nitrate, hardness, and alkalinity. And I don't test my water. I think I've told you guys lots of times that I don't test my water. But I actually really, really needed this because I'm working on a background for that tank. And I'm going to be using concrete. And concrete has a very high pH. So I'm going to need to be testing constantly um, the aquarium background's pH so that it's safe to put in for the fish. So yeah, that's the only reason why I bought them. The thing is this gravel bag. And it's the cheapest gravel bag pretty much. I actually have this already. Like I bought one like five years ago. And I still have it. There's a lot of damage to that one already. And I'm not going to lie, it's still working. Like, I can still get the job done. But it's just so worn out. And, you know, five years later, I figured I would get a new one. <laughs> I don't actually use the hose that these come with. What I do is I go to Home Depot and buy a long, like, 10, 15 feet hose of this size i use that instead because the thing that sucks about this is it only measures like 72 inches which is not very long most people that use these actually use a bucket and then they'll siphon the water from the tank down to a bucket and then you have to dump the water out of the bucket and that's just so not practical i don't understand why people struggle so much like here look at the instructions there's pictures of a bucket. Like, who wants to do water changes with a bucket? <laughs> Two containers of Tetramin. I already used one for my fish. But look, like they're like really pretty, actually. And you guys can't see that at all. Oh my god. <laughs> So according to this, the ones with the blue in the middle are for health and then the ones with the orange in the center are for growth and then the ones with the red in the center is for color enhancing. So yeah, I mean they're really pretty, right? <laughs> and they're obviously nutritional. 
as well. I didn't just get them because they're pretty. The next thing that I got is light catcher. Just kidding. It's a fish net. Yeah, it's actually really, really soft. I love it. <laughs> so yeah, I got this net to go jelly fishing. <laughs> Okay, so I saved the best for last. These really freaking awesome lights. These are so cool and I didn't realize that they were specifically for glowfish. You know, I might get a couple glowfish, dump them in there, why not, right? I'm gonna show you guys how they look like right now, but yeah, it's just these really cool glow lights for fish. Um, I could probably get away with just using one in there, but you're supposed to use two for that size tank. Alright guys, that was it. That was my tiny aquarium stuff haul and why am I moving around so much? I'm hyper. Why am I so hyper? I don't know. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe. and. Please like my Facebook page. I would really, really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Have a good night. Okay, so let's plug in the glow lights. I realized I didn't show it <laughs> when I was talking about them. But yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so here they are. Um, again, I'm really, really sorry about the lighting, <laughs> but it's about to get a whole lot better. Uh, but yeah, this is all that it is. It's just a huge plug thing, and then there's a switch here so that you can just, you know, on, off. And then it comes with these clips so that you can clip the lights onto your aquarium. Um, but, you know, I don't have an actual <laughs> place to clip them. Uh, but yeah. And then these are, this is the tiny strip of lights. They're tiny, but mighty, okay? They give off a lot of light, so yeah, let's plug them in. Are you guys ready? Okay. In three, two, one. Oh my god, that's freaking bright. <laughs> so here's the light in action. Um, am I glowing? Let me see. It looks really cool, like with white. It makes white pop out a lot. Okay, it's not doing it. This is really awkward. But yeah, it makes white really pop out. So I can only imagine what it does with the glowfish. Um, and if you guys don't know what glowfish are, you should definitely Google them. They're actually really, really cool. It's really cool how they genetically modified those fish to glow. So yeah, that's the strip of light. And you know, like one little strip is just so strong. I don't know if I'm going to end up using both. <laughs> but yeah bye guys